everybody how are you guys doing this is the last video of my Amazon haul these are the two beauty glaze palettes that were involved included in that haul I got six palettes for my reward points out of my Amazon rewards from my Amazon card and um, I'm kind of a little bit bummed that I did that because I completely forgot about needing a webcam. My brain just does not remember things. That is the saddest, one of the saddest parts of this illness. It really makes you feel like you're going crazy and losing your mind at times. And um, you really have to fight. You have to, you have to be a pretty strong person to. Um, not really give up and give in to, you know, the voice of the enemy inside your head telling you all these lies that he tells you, but, um, I've been dealing with this illness for 12 years, so, um, I'm kind of used to it right now, and, but, let's talk about beauty instead of lupus, hello. But I want you guys to know the ins and outs of what I deal with. This that is really the one of the main reasons why I wanted to start this channel is because I have been dealing with doctors that literally I mean you just it's remarkable that these people were given licenses because they just have ab absolutely zero comprehension and then I have found that not many people in the world really understand what women with or men with lupus and fibromyalgia deal with it is not just those things I deal with. I also deal with hypothyroidism. I have degeneration and arthritis in my back and neck and in my hands. And um, so there's far more to this. And like today, you guys, I know you guys can tell probably by now, my regular watchers is that like today, my eyes are like slits because I just haven't been sleeping in like four days. And so, but, I want you guys to really understand so that when you come across somebody who looks normal to you, like when people look at me, they go, oh, I'd never guess that you're sick. And it's like, well, am I supposed to walk around moping or am I supposed to make the most of my life? And because I choose to make the most of my life, people judge and say that I don't look sick because I'm actually a happy person. I do not play high school games like some people love to do on this, on this venue. And I just don't buy into the stuff of over dramatizing my illness and it is just what it is and because of that people treat me like I'm not sick and it's sad to me it's very sad but first let me just show you this is called the Sterilizia Beauty Glazed Palette. It's very pretty. It's really nice quality. This is nicer than most color pop. Actually, it's nicer than all color pop palettes. This is it. It is really a beautiful, beautiful palette. And as you guys know, I am a humongous Beauty Glazed fan. Um, they, I think their product is just as good, if not better, than some high-end brands. And that's just my honest opinion, and uh, it's not going to change until their product changes. But this is the kind of, I guess you would call it a dupe, or their version of the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And honestly, this one is better because I... I hadn't even used my Soft Glam palette, and I used it the other day, and it just had so much kickback. I hated it. I, I seriously am considering taking it back, because I was so disappointed with how much product waste there is. I mean, I barely touch a brush to it, and there's like a poof of, of powder. And when you blow it, I mean, it just wastes so much. And so to pay $42, I didn't pay that for it. I got a really good deal on mine, which I rarely ever pay full price for things like that um, but it's still I don't know if it's worth it to me so I may be taking it back but let me show you this is one of the similar colors in that palette it is not exactly the same but the color payout is the color payout is as good if not better than soft glam because you are not wasting product. 
here is another color. I'll do the one right next to it. It's absolutely beautiful, just down and up very lightly. I'm not pushing on this. I am not having to apply any effort, any pressure to it. This is the, like, so it's not exactly the same, but this is the one that's similar to the burgundy in Soft Glam, and that has so much kickback. Now, this you can see, it's a little thicker in some areas, and you do have to blend it, but it is nowhere near as bad as Soft Glam. And this is actually a really beautiful color. I love that it's light, but the one thing is this builds up really beautifully and you can make it deeper and I had way more problem with my soft glam I literally took the first attempt I look off because it was so bad I couldn't believe it I, I just was absolutely in shock by I just wasn't impressed with that at all and um I like their products. I think they have really amazing looking palettes and stuff, but I mean to pay that much for it and have it have that much kickback, it just bothers me to no end. And let me show you the beautiful golden color before I wrap this up and I'll show you. Look at that's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. I mean I'm I'm more impressed with this wrap palette, pardon me, than I am the soft glam. And here, let me show you. The green is just, I couldn't, I don't think I could wear that on my eyes. Maybe, I don't know. If I was really feeling super funky, do I have color up there? Let me double check. But look at that color payout. One swatch, you guys saw it. That's absolutely gorgeous. And I mean, like this picked up, oh my gosh. This is like the, the soft, the pink and the soft glam. It's really soft. I still have uh, uns on my finger. I could literally do two eyes with this. So you can see it's super duper creamy. I, I'll show you. Look. There's one. There's one. This is now where it's wearing down. You can see it's now coming off my finger. But look it. I just swiped it and that's what came off. So this is not lesser quality as far as how it looks than soft glam by any means or by any other product. Look at that color. It's gorgeous. These colors are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now this I believe is a matte or a very faint shimmer. It's like the color of my nails. Let's see. Look at exactly. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And that's that's a matte. Gorgeous. That worked better than the burgundy matte in the soft glam any day and twice on Sunday. I'm telling you, if you have not discovered Beauty Glazed, you need to discover it because they are a true hidden gem. The quality of their products is absolutely amazing and the prices, you just cannot beat it with a stick. This was $6.70 and this one was $7.99. This is less than one color pop palette. Just saying. And they have really great packaging. It is not cheesy by any means. They're more sturdy than most of the paper palettes I come across. And they're super easy to clean because the cardboard is really thick. And it's got a coating on it that just makes it easy to wipe down. And I love that. So that's my little review. And, um... Look, you guys can see my wipe. You guys know how hooked I am on these wipes. You get them at Walmart, and they're about a dollar a pack. And you get them in a bundle of five or six packs, and it's $6.20 or something like that. And look at these colors. There's no cleaning products on this. This is basically a flushable wipe, but all of these... Um, ingredients are natural except for a couple which I had told you in my first review of these and I used baby wipes Kirkland baby wipes and they now have changed what they put in it and they sting my skin I can't use them anymore and so look at this is how bad it looks and it's still 
taken it off without leaving a smudge mark all over. Like, I'm not smearing green makeup all over. It's cleaning it all. They're amazing. So go out and get them. I love you guys. I pray that God keeps you safe in this crazy, crazy, crazy world we live in. God bless you and have an amazing, amazing 4th of July.